I can't believe it. Van. Ooh. No way am I living next door to those scumbags. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Phone the landlord, tell him we've changed our minds. We've got to live here now, we signed a contract. Yeah, like that means anything to you people. What do you mean, you people? Don't talk to my dad like that, all right? You signed a contract with us. You only did half a job. We could have built the Taj Mahal in the time we spent in Hang your kitchen. Hang on a minute, don't tell me these are the yeah. people... Refused to pay me bill, swiped all me gear. Well, I've got news for you. This is a decent street. Decent people live here. So put your scummy gear back in your scummy van and get out of here! You're only doing this deliberately just to wind us up. What? Do you lay one finger on him and the cops be like a shot? She's right. Best we all just calm down. Why don't I put the kettle on? Come out. Shut yours. Shut yours. What's kicking off? Looks like we've got new neighbours. Nice. We should have stayed the other side of the street. Did she watch how you talk to my family? You being such upstanding citizens? Ah, you know not about us. We know you ripped out my kitchen. I'll rip some else out in a minute. After breaking and entering my home? Who says? Oh, come off it. We know it with you lot. Prove it. Every time the coppers nab you, which is probably twice a day, that's what you say, isn't it? Prove it, prove it. You ripped their kitchen out first. You get inside. Well, you got evicted because of you lot. It wasn't yours. You hadn't paid for it. You threatened my dad. He threatened me, Mum. That's how all the trouble started when he started shouting the odds. Scared the life out of me. Oh, frightening women. You had no intention of paying for it. Your sort never do. I've had enough of this! You are asking for a good kick in there, seriously. Leave it, Gary! They're not worth it. 